Hi. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to model a palm tree. We're going to model this palm tree for use in a real-time rendering application, i.e. UDK. To begin with, we need to first prep some images to use in this tutorial. It's my objective to model a palm tree similar to this one in this image. Similar, but it's not going to be the same. But just for an example, this is what I would like. Now, in order to affect this, I just need to get two images. One image I'm going to source is called is a palm leaf, and I'm sourcing it from moo2u.com. It's a good little uh, texture, and comes with a transparency inside of the image already. The second image I'm going to grab is this uh, palm bark texture. This has been grabbed from 123rf.com. This does need some modification, however. Okay. In Photoshop, with these images loaded, in particular the palm leaf, we're going to basically step through the processes to prepare it for real-time applications. In this case, we have the image here ready to go, except it does need some modifications in order to be properly formatted before we head any further. So in this case, the mask is stored within the PNG itself. So it's actually stored in the side of an alpha channel. So what I'm going to do is transfer that to an alpha channel. So I'm going to create a new channel called Alpha, which I will name Alpha by itself. Okay, back to the RGB channel, and I'm going to grab the selection tool and make sure that contiguous is checked off and select it like so. Now there's a little area down here at the bottom which I need to improve. I'm just going to remove that little bump off the end of the selection. Oops, wrong one. Okay, a little bit of a, there we go. like so, <clears throat> and then go back to the alpha channel and go ahead and do a flight operation. Now, in an alpha mask, the white areas are rendered, the black areas are not rendered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flood with the white, okay, not quite right. So what I need to do is invert the selection, we're going to select <clears throat> inverse and then try the flood operation now. Okay, that's good. So what I've done here is generated a mask that's basically more game ready. Okay, so turn on the RGB and let's go back to our image here. Now, one of the problems you have with rendering in real time engine is the way it does the filtering. Uh, in particular, when you're dropping through some of the MIP levels on DDS textures down to lower resolutions, the filtering can cause some issues with rendering artifacts. In particular, white edges appearing around uh, any kind of image that's masked. In order to prevent this from happening, uh, we need to feather out the edges of this image. So what I'm going to do is just going to create a duplicate of this, so as not to destroy it completely. I'm then going to get the selection. Oh, hang on, go and just do a normal selection mask. And then I'm going to do a selection modifier and I'm going to expand it. Two pixels is plenty, so we'll go ahead with that. So what it does basically is walk in the selection just slightly from the outside edge. So just re repeat it. I'll deselect, repeat the task selection and then do a modify expand by two pixels and it steps in. I'm then going to do a edit and fill. I'm going to do a content aware fill which you can do when you have a selection and click OK. Basically this fills the entire image select and this would be perfect for what we want to do I'm just going to do a little heel down here to fill this little hole up okay excellent now the other thing wrong with this image is the dimensions so I'm going to change the image size I'm going to make sure constrained proportions is ticked off and I'm going to change the, uh, the size of this image to 1024 by 512 this is a more appropriate power of two texture. 
uh, which can be loaded into modern video cards like so so then I'm pretty much happy with this so I'm going to save it out so file <coughs> save as as a BMP make sure alpha channels is selected and I'm going to call this palm leaf diffuse 01 just go with the standard settings for this okay so next one we're going to look at is the palm tree bark immediately it's already met it's the wrong size so I also need to resize this straight away uh, in order for me to be able to edit it correctly. So I'm going to change this to uh, probably just a 256 oops 256 by 256 size like so and to zoom right in then I'm going to do a filter another then an offset and I'm going to offset it by 128 by 128. Now that basically sets it up for tiling. The objective of this modification is to get this as a tiling texture. I'm going to do some very basic edit here, a bit of hack. The more time you spend doing this, the better looking your texture will be. But essentially using the heel brush will enable me to remove this sort of edge, ugly edge here a little way. does tend to give it a wash smudge look along the edges and it can be quite obvious so this is kind of something you want to spend a lot of time on but for this example I'm just going to quickly prepare it like so that along with the clone stamp tool so I take a sample by holding down alt I can stamp it through to really get a nice sort of finishing look just sort of like you're finishing to make the image look even better. Essentially the higher the quality image you want the more time you should be spending on making sure this is 100%. Okay, I think that's going to be pretty good. Alright, let's do it for this purpose. So I'm going to do a filter again and offset it back to its original state. Okay, so now I'm going to file, save as, so there's a BMP also, and this is what I'm going to call palm tree bark or palm bark diffuse A1 and save. Okay, so that sort of sets up our textures for the next stage, which is modeling. Um, so thanks for watching.